This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning, Rabbi Isaac, Agon Erev Shabbos, Agon Chodesh. Um, this morning we have really a tremendous amount of material. This would be a lot of material even for a Wednesday share, let alone the second part of a Friday. But uh, nevertheless, it was a very big avoida, uh, many, many hours. Uh, it, it, the preparation went until Friday, <laughs> put it that way. Um, and um, this is really a very lofty idea and lofty concepts and a lot of information, so we'll try to try to get through all of it. Bezos Hashem. So we begin with the following. The, uh, the Sefer Avodas Yisrael from the Kajnitz Magid has a, a fantastic remez regarding the Bein HaMetzarim that we are in now. The period of the Bein HaMetzarim, it says in Eicha between the narrow straits, between Shabbat Shabbat Tammuz and Tishabav. And the Avodah Yisrael points out that this parsha, which is parshas Mase, which talks about the various encampments and travels of, of the Kalal Yisrael, is always laned during the three weeks, without exception. The parshas Mase is always laned during the three weeks. doesn't matter if it's an Ibra year or a regular year. And... It says, uh, And how many days are the Bein HaMetzarim? 21 days. Where do I get that from? Like Rashi explains. We have to see Rashi. There's not one Rashi in the whole Chumash that, that says the Bein HaMetzarim is 21 days. We'll have, to see, we'll have to see where that's talking about. V'chaf Aleph Yoim V'chaf Aleph Leilois Heim Membeis in the 21-day period, there are 42 segments of time. 21 days, 21 nights. Those 42 segments correspond to the 42 Masois in Parshas Mase, which are always laned this time of the year. Keneged Membez Masois, Shetzarech Lavar Bein HaMetzarem. During the Bein HaMetzarem, during the 21 days, we need to pass through 42 Masois. L'sakein hakoel to fix everything. V'lavodas Hashem. So here we have a, a, a tremendous remez that the forty-two masoyes that we learn in this week's parsha are not coincident, coincidental to the bein hametzarim, but they correspond perfectly with the forty-two segments of time of the bein hametzarim. Now, what is the makar that the Avodas Yisrael quotes that there are twenty-one days in the bein hametzarim? Where does that come from? Well, it says in Yermia, we learned it last week. Yermia was asked, what do you see? And he said, I see an almond stick. Shkedim, an almond. And the Rebbe Shalom says, that's right. Because the word shakade is a play on words, like lishkaid, to be diligent. Because Rabbi Shalom says, the evil will befall you immediately. Lishkaid. Rashi says, Hashakid The first tree that produces fruits is the almond. But then Rashi quotes the Medrash. Umedrash Agada. Hashakid Hazel, the almond. Humishas Chanitasoi. Ad Gemar Bishulai, from the time of the blossoming until, excuse me, from the time of the Chanita, from the time of the budding, Ad Gemar Bishulai, until the fruit is ripe, Esrim V'yechad Yayim, 21 days. An almond takes 21 days from Chanita to Bishul. What's the significance of 21 days? Kaminyan Yamim, Shabain Shiva Asabatamos, Shabai Hufka here from Shabbat Batam is the day the city was breached. The Tishabov, Shabai Nisra Fabayas, the Tishabov, that the house was burnt down. So here we have it. Rashi says that there are 21 days of the Bainam at Sarim. And not only are there 21 days, but the Navi Yermias foresaw the 21 days with the vision of the Makel Shakeh. By the way, there's another thing in nature that takes 21 days exactly. 
chicken, incubation of the egg, of the common egg of the chicken, 21 days incubation, without fail. It's a Gemara and Bechay Rice. Okay. So what's the, and by the way, there's another source that the Bein HaMetzarim are 21 days. Inyan Bein HaMetzarim, Behem Chaf Aleph Yamim, 21 days. Shebein Yudzayin Latamas Atishvav, the Arizal writes in the Shah HaKavonos, that the Bein HaMetzarim are 21 days. So you say, Rabbi, why do you need to prove that the Bein HaMetzarim are 21 days? They're three weeks. You need a Makar, that's not a count. Three times seven is 21. The problem is because it's not true, right? It's untrue. There aren't 21 days in the Bein HaMetzarim. There are 22 days in the Bein HaMetzarim. Never since the Bein HaMetzarim was destroyed were there ever three weeks. There's no such thing as three weeks. Shavas Tabatam's this year was Sunday. This year Tishba will be, fat, will be observed on Sunday. What do you mean? It's three weeks. It'll be on Shabbos. And so it's not three weeks. Three weeks on one day. So what's 21 days? We're forgetting about the most important thing. We're forgetting about Tisha B'Av. Isn't Tisha B'Av this year? Uh, the so is Shavasa B'Tamah. I know. Yeah, well, it is Nikhil. Well, yeah. The stand between them is the same. Oh. Well, maybe we could argue that Tisha B'Av is actually not considered Bein HaMetzarim because it's going to be a big event of lots of love. Oh, so you have to say that, you have to say that Tisha B'Av is not part of the Bein HaMetzarim because Shulchan Aruch says Tisha B'Av is considered a Moyed Tishbav is considered a moed. Says in Shochanach, "Ein oimim tchina erev Tishbav b'mincha." Even erev Tishbav, we don't say tachnon. And this year, we will not say tzid kascha because it's the yom tif. So even though it's the a day of doom, day of disaster, nevertheless, it seems that Tishbav is not part of the count. And what the Avos Yisrael is saying is that the forty-two time segments of the Bein HaMetzarim correspond to the 42 Masais. Now how do we know there are 42 Masais? Well if you look in the beginning of this week's parasha, Eila Masai V'nei Yisrael Asher Yatsu Me'eretz Mitzrayim L'Tzavaisam These are the travels of the Bnei Yisrael that left Mitzrayim on their legions Biyad Moshe V'yarim So the first question is, really? You're kidding me? Moshe and Aaron took them out? You know, I don't think the Torah mentioned that before. It's good to know, you know. This is probably like the thousandth time that it says, well, I need to know that it was beyond Moshe and Aaron. And then it says, Vayichtoiv Moshe es moitzoihem l'maseihem. Moshe wrote their goings out and their travels. Al pi Hashem. Vayi l'maseihem l'moitzoihem. Question is, why does the Torah then reverse the order? First moitzoihem l'maseihem and then Masehem l'moitzoihem. Says Rashi, why do I need to know the, what the Masois are? So Rashi says, the Torah tells us about the various Masois. Lama nechtavu ha-Masois halalo. L'haidiyah chasad of Shomakon. It's to teach you God's kindness. Sha'af al-pisha gazar alayim l'tautzad al-mlaniyam ba-midbar. Even though the Rebbe made a decree that he's going to move us about and shake us about in the midbar. You should know, it's not like every day he was shaking us about. There were very few travels. In all the 40 years, we hardly moved. Don't say we had no respite. We were actually, it was quite a peaceful time. Because in total, says Rashi, and this is the Makar of the 42 Masois, Shari'in kanel arba mushtayim Masois. In total, there were only 42 14 of them were even before the Gezerah, from when they went to Ramses until they came to Risma, where the Meraglim were sent from. And eight of them after the Misa of Aaron. So altogether, you take away 14, you take away eight, they're only, in 40 years, only 20 Masais. So what is that? One every two years. One every two years, people get a job once a year. One, that's pretty good for a Jew. Once every two years, big deal. They're able to park and stay in one place for two years. So it's to teach you the chesed of Hashem. Now the question is, if you count actually in this week's parish of the various Masais, you only get 41. So how do you have 42? So the Maskil of David, or of David Pardo, one of the super commentaries on Rashi, one of the most important papers on Rashi, he says, 
the Kari Lahu Membez Masais, top line, the left hand column. It's called 42 Masais. The Harisha in Huramseis, the first one is Ramseis. Ulechitidok, if you look carefully, Shaper Shaykh Beilashon Masa. Ramses was also a Masa. What do you mean? Masa, uh, Ramses was the departure point. That's not a travel. Well, the answer is, well, before we got to Ramses, we were scattered all over Mitzrayim. And Hashem collected us and gathered us in Ramses. So that is considered Masa number one. But the big question here, and this is a question that is dealt with in the Sefer Tzrar Hamar. Tzrar Hamar was written by Rabbi Avram Saba, one of the Gerushe Sfarad. He was exiled from Spain in 1492. He lost his manuscripts. He had to rewrite his commentary on the Chumash from memory. His Two of his children were forcibly kidnapped and baptized. But ultimately, Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Avram Saba, if I'm not mistaken, He, uh, his granddaughter married the son of the Beis Yosef. Ram Saba lived a very uh, tragic life. And in a lot of his farm, he recounts many of the details of the Spanish expulsion. And Ram Saba wants to know, first of all, why is the Torah repeating in this week's parasha the 42 Masois? We know them already. Anyone who reads the simple psukim would be able to see where they went from here to here to there. And see, there are 42 Masois. Why, why mention them again? Number two, this is really the end of the Torah. This week, we can make a siyam on the Torah. It's the last parsha on the Torah. Mishnah Torah is only, is different than the first four books. Mishnah Torah was from Moshe Rabbeinu's vantage point. The Iker Torah, the first four books, Mishnah Torah is only Chazara. So in all, for all intents and purposes, this is the Chasima of the Torah. Why would the Torah end off with something we know, something which is pretty trivial? Who really cares? I need to know they went from here to here to there. Does anybody care? I went to Pittsburgh this week. Which rest stops I stopped off at? Whether it was Carlisle or... Yeah. Who cares? They're all, they all look exactly the same. Every time I stop and at a rest stop... Wasn't, didn't we stop there last time? They all look exactly the same. You have the same tray for restaurants, everything positioned in the same way. The straws are over here, the napkins are over here, the forks are... It all looks the same. So, so you stop at the second one, you don't have to look around, you know already. Yeah, you know. So I need to know, this is how the Torah ends off with the 42 Masais. Why the first time, Maitzayim Lamaseim, the second time, Maitzayim Lamaseim, and Al Pi Hashem, and again, why Biyad Moshe Biyarin? Says it's Sarhamar. That Hine Ksivas Elo Hamasois Nera Shahayum Miyutaris. The recording of these travels would seem to be superfluous. And he quotes Rashi that, that it's to teach the Chesed of Hashem that there are only 42 stops in the 40 years. And it's also to teach that the Chesed of Hashem that for 40 years in a barren land without fruits, without water, the Yvon Hashem provided for us. But says the Tzor Hamar, V'chein nira ki hatam shenichtavu elu hamasois, next paragraph, V'chein shekosvem shenichtavnu api Hashem. It would seem the reason why these travels are mentioned and why the Torah emphasizes that they were recorded based on Hashem, L'hoirois malas ha-Torah. It's to teach the greatness of the Torah, that the Torah has many deep things, V'loi davareku, and they're not empty. And if you find that they're empty, you're the one who's empty. They're empty from you. Because the Torah is Aruka Me'eretz Midor Chava Mineyam. Because you should know that these words are not written by man. These are the words of Hashem. Hashem is the Noisein HaTorah. Hashem is the Koisev HaTorah. Like the Pasuk says, V'hamichtav michtav alekimhu. And we know the Gemara Bracha says, Daf Yud Beis HaKol Hoylech Achar Hachitum. Everything goes after the end. The Torah wants to conclude with these travels because the next book is Mishnah Torah. It's just a review. And why does the Torah end this way? For a very important pur- purpose. You ready? The purpose is when you read about seemingly trivial information and yet the Torah iterates, Al Pi Hashem is the Word of God, so you know that all of this seemingly 
trivial information is so deep and has so much secrets in it, has so much information, and the Rebbe is loading it up with so much content that is beyond us, and the Torah ends this way, so we say to ourselves the following, if something that we have no grasp of and no understanding of, and we can't even begin to understand why this trivial information is here, and yet the Rebbe Hashem wrote it because Rebbe Hashem understands it's loaded with so much important information, says the Torah Amar, we make a Kav He says, Let every man make the following kavachaymer. If these masois, which we don't seem to need, were written by Hashem, so then all the more so the rest of the Torah must be gonos, must be laden with secrets and information that's beyond us. If even this Information which we have no understanding of is al Hashem, certainly the rest of the Torah. So go to the next paragraph, Ula Hayrais. Ula Hayrais, Sheyesh Be'elo Hamasois, Davar Gadol, to teach that these travels are very great. Amar Rabbi Seinuzal, Shenichtavu Khan, Shnaim Barba Masois. Chazal tell us that there are 42 travels. Remez l'shem ha-mefayrash shoshnayim v'yarbam It's a remez to the explicit name of God which is 42 letters. In other words, says the Torah Amor, the Torah Amor is Megala to us that the number 42 is not a trivial number. It's not an empty number. It's not a, it's not a happenstance number. It's not coincidental. There are 42 masois connected the 42 letter name of God. What are they? Now the 42 letter name of God is the shame of Aleph and then Bez and then we're not supposed to say it. And this name is Merumaz in the beginning of Bereshus. And we'll see what that means. And this name of God has seven words. We'll have to see what that means. And each seven word name has six letters. We'll see what that means. And each name corresponds to another name of day of the week. For example, the second one has to do with destroying the Satan. Why? Because on day two, Gehenna was created. The 42 travels in the Midbar are connected the 42 letter name of Hashem, which is Marumas in the Passing and Tehillim. Hashem, Bum, Sinai, Bakoidesh. The word Bum. 42. To teach. So says the Tzvar Hamar, an amazing thing. If you look in the beginning of Bereshis, the first 42 letters of Bereshis are the 42 letter name of Hashem. And Parshas Mase, which is the Chasim of the Torah. Right? We, look, we would really have Simchas Torah this week, but all we could do is the three weeks, we're not going to dance. But really this week is the Chasim of the Torah. This week is the Chasim of the Torah. It also corresponds to the 42 letter name of Hashem. That means the Torah begins and ends the same way. It begins with the 42 letter name of God. It ends with the 42 letter name of God. And the secret is, he says, Lirma Yishat Torah Kula, Klula, Ukshura, Bechasuma, Bechaisim Echa. The Torah is all inclusively and bound and tied and sealed with Hashem Echad, Hashem Bam. This is the meaning of, Vayichtav Moshe Es Moitzo Ehem Lamasem Api Hashem. All of these travels were through Hashem's name. 42 travels connected the 42 letter name of Hashem. And then he says, uh, he brings an idea that we've mentioned in the past, that how many times is Eloi Kim mentioned in the beginning of Bereshus? 32 times, 32. The 32 in the first pack of Rishis, the word Eloi Kim is mentioned 32 times. Kenega, the Lamed Beis Nesiva is HaChachma, the 30, 32 pathways of Chachma. That's why the Torah begins with Beis and ends with Lamed, corresponding to the 32 pathways of Chachma. Okay. So says the Tzvar Hamar that this is also for another very important reason. And that is 
to root into our hearts great bitachain in the future geula, and to strengthen ourselves with all the during all the tsaras that have befallen us. Because Rebbein Shalom sees from the beginning of time all the future generations. And He sees all the Goliaths that passed over us. Especially the Goliaths we're in today. And the fact that the Torah recorded these 42 Masois is a great source of hope for us. Because after Klal Yisrael went through 42 travails, what did Rebbein Shalom do? <coughs> he brought us into Eretz Yisrael. So certainly after all of our travails, after all of our Masois, Rebbein Shem is going to take us into Eretz Yisrael. And that's what the Torah writes. Eile Masei B'nei Yisrael asher yatsu me Eretz Mitzrayim l'tzavoysam biyad Moshe v'yaroi. The point is, don't we know, says the Torah Amor, that Moshe and Aaron took us out of Mitzrayim. But the remez is that just like Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim, even though we were not roi, but nevertheless we were redeemed through Moshe and Aaron, so too in the future Rebbein Shalom will send us two great leaders, Mashiach ben Yosef, Mashiach ben Davin, and he too again will bring us into Eretz Yisrael. And then says the Surah Amar, that if just like Hashem, after causing Klai to pass through the 42 Masais, <coughs> we lasted through it, and we had Geula, Hashem is guaranteeing us that this will happen again. And then he says three lines from the bottom. <laughs> Even though throughout history we've passed from one travail to the next, from one malchus to the next, from one explosion to the next. He says, from Eretz Yisrael to Chutzaretz, from Tsarfas, from France, to Sfarat, to Spain, from Sfarat to Yishmael. Says the Tzorah Marki, Ba'abano Golos Yushalayim Asher B'Sfarat. The exiled community of Jerusalem that made its way to Spain, Kvar Nisgar Kulam, every last member of the Jewish faith is exiled from Spain. Beloy Nisharish, now one remains. Bechol Hamalchios, Zulasi Anisharim, except for those that remain from captivity and from hunger, they run. To Malchus Paras, to Malchus Yishmael, where do they go? Where do they go from Spain? To Fez. And then says <coughs> the Tzor Hamar. Why did Rav Shem write these forty-two Masois? So that he should always see in front of his eyes. Rav Shem should always be thinking about our travails and feeling our pain and feeling our sara. Well, says the Tzor Hamar. If the Rebunisham always wants to bear in mind our Tsar, and that's why he records it for all eternity in the Torah, then you could imagine how, how, how close to the heart of Hashem is our suffering in Golos. Because he says, this is in the last paragraph, about eight lines from the top of the paragraph, he says, <laughs> From the day we were exiled from Eretz Yisrael, Right, so what, what year was the Chorben? 68, 69, 70 of the Common Era? It's about 1,500 years. Well, if there were 42 Masois in the 40 years in the Midbar, you know how many Masois there have been since the Chorben? He says, Yalu HaMasois Le'ein Misbar, you can't even count it. In every 40 year period of our Golos, there was endless Masois. Says the Torah Amar, Im nimna masoy shalach nimi eishu galim esad ayoyim. If all you count are the exiles and the travels from Spain until the day I'm writing, in the last 80 years, there have been more than 1,000 masoys just from 1492 until, excuse me, in the last 8 years, from 1492 to the year 1500, more than 1,000 masoys in those 8 years. And certainly though, these masoys that we've made are written in a book before the eyes of God. And He feels all of our, our lachats and our dachak. And He will certainly, just like He sent Moshe and Aaron, reward us and redeem us and give us hope for the future. So this is the, the landmark comment of the Yitzhar Hamar, that the 42 Masais, 
that the Klai so traveled in the Midbar correspond to what? Some mystical, mysterious, 42-letter name of God. So that's very nice. What does that got to do with us? Well, you should know that this comment of the Tzor Amar is actually brought halacha, lamaisa, and the Magen Avram in terms of how to lay in this week's parsha. Says the Magen Avram, he, and as far as I know, this is the only place in the whole, his whole commentary that he quotes the Tzor Hamar. Says the Magen Avram in Simen Tav Chavchas, Kosov v'tzor hamar, mem beiz masoi shebe parshas ve'e lamasei, ein lehafsik bohem, you may not interrupt, shehu neged shem mem beiz. Because it corresponds to the 42 letter name of God. So whatever we just learned is not just theory or machshava, but it's actually halach lamaisa, the balkari may not interrupt when he's laying these 42 masoi's, it corresponds to the 42 letter name of Hashem. And by the way, this idea that the 42 Masoys corresponds to the Shem Membez is actually originally found, the source of it is in the writings of Arizal, in Likute Taira, Parshas Masay. It says, Ari HaKadosh, Nizgar Beka, number 11, Membez Masoys, Vuhushe Yisrael Yatsumi Mitzrayim, Bekoyach Shem Membez. Klal Yisrael left Mitzrayim with the Koyach of the 42 letter name of Hashem. Comes 42 letter name appear in Masoos or, or just an analogy or corresponding? It corresponds to it and we'll have to see what exactly is the shame and maybe gain at least really, so let me, let's gain Masaka? some understanding because it's a marames to the 42 uh, letter name of Hashem. Comes the Igor de Kala. Who wrote the Igor de Kala? Igor de Kala is written by the Bnei Yisachar the Tzvi Ali Malach Midinov. He says Ela Mase. Bnei Yisrael, Rashi Tevois, Mem Beis, Masse Bnei Mem Beis, Shehamasois Heim Neged Shem Mem Beis. The Masois correspond to the forty-two letter name of Hashem. Pezehu Soi. This is the secret. Asher Yatsu Me Eretz Mitzrayim. Shekva Yodata Shesoid Shesoid Shem Zem Mesugal Aliyah. In other words, like the Arizal said, that how were we nisala mi Mitzrayim? How did we leave Mitzrayim? It was through the Kayach of the Shem Membez, which is alluded to Masse Bnei Membez. And Biyad Moshe is also Rashi Tevois. Right? Ela Masse Bnei. And Biyad Moshe is also Membez. And the word Ve'ela is Gematria also Membez? So we have three Ramazim for this. Number one, Masse Bene is Membez. Biad Moshe Membez. And the word Ve'ela Maseyem is also 42. The question is number one, what is this 42 letter name of Hashem? And number two, are we allowed to even talk about it? Well, there's a Masechta called Masechta Chagiga. And we learned a little while ago. Ain darshan ba'arayas b'shalaysha. You can't darshan about arayas with three people total. V'loi b'maysa b'reishas b'shnayim. Even two people may not discuss maysa b'reishas. It's something you do on your own. Now what does it mean we don't discuss maysa b'reishas? What does that mean? We had a shear a long time ago that uh, you have to be on a very, very high madrega to understand. What, what exactly is my sabaracious? What is my sabaracious? Says Toysus. Ain darshim and my sabaracious. Perish Rabbeinu Tam. Rabbeinu Tam says, My sabaracious does not refer to, in general, how Hashem created the world. My sabaracious is a very specific thing. Perish Rabbeinu Tam. Who shame? Mem beis oisiyos. When we say we don't discuss Ma'as Abrashas, we don't discuss the 42 letter name of Hashem. Where does this name come from? Hayoitze mi Bereshis umi pasuk shal acharav. The name of Hashem, Bereshis, the, the 42 letter name of Hashem comes from the first pasuk on the Chumash and a little bit afterwards. So, for example, if you count, 
How many letters are in the first Pasuk of the Chumash? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Keneged, the letters of Yehesh Mei Rabba Mavarach Alam Omei Maya. 28. Then 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. It gets you to the vase of Vavayu. Here are these 42 letters, says Toysus, compromise the 42 letter name of Hashem. So the, to- the Torah begins with the 42 letter name of Hashem, and the Torah ends with it in the 42 Masoys. Rabbeinu B'chayi, in the beginning of Bereshis, also brings down this tradition that we have. It says Rabbeinu B'chayi, V'yesh l'chol adas, Yishinu no k'yesh b'yadeinu kabbalah, we have a tradition. The Pasuk says Shal Bereshis. This Pasuk of Bereshis. Shamimenu Yoytse Shem Ben Membez. That from Bereshis, the 42 letter name of Hashem comes from. Hamayuchas Lamidas Hadin Ad Bez Shel Bayu. Now, how do you get the 42 letter name of Hashem? Al Yedeit Sirufim Rabim. Through many combinations and permutations. Okay, so this is a tradition that Rabbeinu Mechaye records. And by the way, the Arizal also in the Shara Kavonos, he says on the sixth line, Kishem shall membez, Yoitse membez oisios rishonos, membereshes adbez shel vavayu. Do we know what that shame is? Oh, so now you're pushing the envelope a little bit. You want to know what exactly is this 42-letter name of Hashem? Well, in the Tikkun Zayar, in the fourth Tikkun, Daf Yotes, Kam Reb Shimon Araglai Amar. Reb Shimon got up on his feet and he said, Rebain Alman, Eftach Enai, open my eyes, Le'istak Behind La'ela, to look above, avoy bum. I want to come there. Biarboim utrain asvan deshma mafarsh. The forty-two letters of your name, leminda kolasva asal tikne, and these letters are in Bereshis until the vase of avayu, and here they are, the inun, and there you have it. We don't pronounce it. There you have it in the tikkun This is a huh? There you have it. In number 17, Kune Zayar is a Megala to us, the 42 letter name of Hashem. What exactly this is, I don't know. We don't pronounce it, we don't say it. And what was you done. What the Makari is, where, he, what's, where he got these letters as opposed to any other company? These are 42 letters in uh, 42 letter name of Hashem. Where it comes from? This is what the Rav Shemba Echo was Mespalel. That he should be able to look up of Aibam, and this is what he was shown. And what did the Rebbe Shalom do with these, with this, these ICIs? <coughs> Says the Zayar Hakadosh, Parshas Bereishis, the Arbein Usrein Asvan, number eighteen, forty-two letters. Is Galif Alma? The world was solidified. The world was created. Viskayemes, and it stands. He says the same thing in Parshas Pekude, Tachazi, the Arboin Utrain Asvan is Galif Alma. So not only is this a special name of God, this is the name with which He created the world. This is the name which appears in the first Pasuk of Chumash. And this is the name that's Merumaz in the 42 Masais. You left on 16. What? Number 16. No, I, re- I read 16. Uh, 17, yeah. Baal Shem is not part of the 42 letters. Because this is the name of Hashem, so you say afterwards Baal Shem. Now, what's the significance? Now, here's a the, here's the big question. The Mishnah said in Chagiga, you're not allowed to talk about my Sabratius in front of how many people? Two. And Taisa said, what's the definition of my Sabratius? The 42 letter name of Hashem. That's not what the Mishnah says. The Mishnah says, don't talk about my Sabaratius. 
Why would Rabbi Tam say that it's referring to the 42 letter name of Hashem? That's not my Sabaratius. The answer is based on what we just learned. Yes, it is my Sabaratius. Because this was the name with which Hashem created Shemaim Ba'aras. Mm-hmm. And in fact, the Kajnat Samagid, we started with the Kajnat Samagid, <coughs> That the 42 time segments of the Bein Hametzarim correspond to the 42 name, 42 Masais. He wrote a sefer called Ner Yisrael. Why is creation of heaven and earth called Masa Bereshis? Masa Bereshis is Rashi Tevois Membes for, with the 42 letter name of Hashem. You hear that? The reason why creation of heaven and earth is called Masa Bereshis. Chol Masa Bereshis. Look at number 20. Shurashi Tevois Mem Beis Kibay Nivru And in the Sefer Ramaz which is quoted in the Sefer Likute Mamar Shri Pinchas which most of what I'm telling you today comes from that Sefer He says Va'amnam Yadua Shehoilam Nivra Beside Shem Mem Beis Shurashi Tevois Masa That's It's it's not the same as Shemem Afarish. You say Shemem Afarish. The only said the same could mean either Yekei Vavke or Shemem Beis or the 72. Depending on the context. So what's the difference between the 40, 40 and 72 and 72? Right. Today we're talking about the 42. 72. I'm not ready for that one yet. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let's see. So that's, that's what the... Um, that's what Rabbeinu Bechayi says, that's what Rabbeinu Tam says, Masa Bereshis is a reference to the shame Membez. I'll tell you a few more secrets about this shame. This shame has how many words? So the Tzorah Amar told us. Tzorah Amar says, and even if you look in the Tikkun Zayar, seven words. It says Megal Amukas, well if God created the world in how many days? Seven days. So that's why there's seven words. Zion Shemoy Shal Membez Magalamukoy says in Oifan Kuflam and Gimel in his 133rd explanation on the Pasuk. Right? Magalamukos wrote 252 Perushim on that Pasuk. That's it, don't worry. After, only 252. He says the seven names of the seven words of Membez, Hashem created heaven and earth. I mean, he's Mepharish, it's Philos of Moshe Shachana? On the Pasuk, Vaschana and Hashem Ba'isa Yilemar, on that Tefillah Moshe Shavenu, he has 252 explanations on that Pasuk. It's 550 Tefillahs, Moshe was responsible. No, he's not, 200, not 550. That's not, the Pasuk is 550. It's not, so, nothing to do with Moshe's Tefillah. What that Tefillah was, Vaschana and Hashem Ba'isa Yilemar, he had 252 explanations. By the way, this is also in the Sefer Choymas Ariel. He says that the 42 letter name of Hashem has seven words. Each of those words were connected each day of the week. By the way, the Tikkun Ezer also says the seven words of the, the Shem Membez corresponds to the 42 letter name. So right now we have absolutely no idea what this means. All we know is there are 42 time segments of the Bein Avatsaram. There are 42 Masois in the Midbar corresponding to those 42 time segments. God has a 42 letter name which is with, wi- with which He created the world. Taisa says that refers to Maisa Bereshis. And the question is, what are we talking about? Are we allowed to discuss this? Are you allowed to talk about this? The Gemara says in Masech the Kedushin, Adaf Ayin Aleph Amud Aleph Amar of Yudam Arav Shem ben Arba Mushtai Moisios, the 42 letter name of Hashem. Ein Moisrin Oisa, we don't give it over. Elo Lamisha Tsanua, only someone who is modest. We give it before. and humble. Voime Bechatsi Yamav, you have to be at least middle age. Vein Oikoyes, someone who doesn't get angry. Vein Oimishtaker, someone who doesn't get drunk. Somebody who does not stand on their ceremony. And if you know it, and you're careful in it, and you guard it in purity, your beloved in heaven, you'll be loved down here. 
people will be in awe of you. You will inherit both worlds. So the Gemara seems to be saying that this is not something you speak about indiscriminately. It's not something that you could just talk about. It's only given over to the Tzanuim. And therefore, maybe it would not be the right thing for us to be discussing it publicly. Even though, look, it is, it is uh, Taisa says that um, we don't discuss Maisa Bereshis the Shnayim. Taisa says we don't discuss Maisa Bereshis the Shnayim. And uh, this says Taisa, that refers to what? The Shem Membeis. But here's the thing. That even though if you look in the Tikkun Zayar, he tells you what, in number 17, what the Oisiyos are, even though the Zayar says what the Oisiyos are, never the letter, right? He says in number 17 what the letters are. But, Kvar Gilu Lanu Chazal, our Chazal have already revealed to us what this name of Hashem is. And it's something that is part of Shachris every single morning. Every morning, before Abaye have a Masader, Chazal have already put into the Siddur the Tefillah of the 42 letter name of Hashem. And that is. Right after Abaye have a Masader, Anabakayach. And Onabakayach is a tefillah written by Reb Nechunya ben Akana. And if you look at Onabakayach, Onabakayach is Rashi Tevois, the 42 letters that the Tikkun Zayar mentions. Onabakayach, Gedula, Simincha, Tata, Tzrura, is Poaz, not Kabel, is Sunday. Then you could say Kabel, Rinas, Amcha, Sagveno, Tareno, Noira, that's Monday. Nagibar Darsha Yechudcha Kvav Shamreim is Tuesday. By the way, that's why we say it's standing up. Some people are in a rush to sit down. You can't sit down for Anu Mekayach. Anu Mekayach is Hashem's name. You say the spirit. I mean, it's a short spirit. That's why Mizmar Ladavid, Mizmar Ladavid, by the way, we say standing. Why do we say Mizmar Ladavid standing? Because what? We're not saying it now. So you stand up after. What are you standing up for? Because Rebbe Nishalom's name is no guessing in the share. If you know, you know. Yud K Vav K appears eighteen times. Eighteen times four is seventy-two. That's a remez to the seventy-two letter name of Hashem. What's four? What's four? What is the four number? Huh? Your okay. cave up is four letters. What is it? And, and we learned that there's 720 words from the Punarana, which is. No, 702. Okay, but. Surah Boisai. So, uh, on the one hand, we don't give the shame Membez only to Sanuim and Anav, Mishen Akayes. But on the other hand, Chazal have already revealed to us this, this shame as part of the liturgy of the tefillah. So the Toysus Yom Tif in Masech the Chagiga, he says the following um, heter, or explanation, for what we're allowed to learn about and what we're not allowed to learn about, and that we will see in Merz Hashem in part two of the share. Okay? You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.